All right, good afternoon slash good evening, guys. <clears throat> it's Jay again, and today we are going to be talking a little bit about cherry trees, okay? It's a very nice day outside. See, we're overcast here, so I can actually get out here and make a couple little videos real quick. Okay, so these are three-in-one cherry trees. And I got these at Lowe's in the spring. I put these guys in the spring and they're a multi-graft. Each one of these has three cultivars grafted onto each tree. So we got a Lappin's cherry, we got a Royal Lee cherry, <clears throat> and this is the Bing cherry. Okay, on this tree. And then I've got a second tree right next to him. And this one is a Van cherry a uh, black tartarian cherry <clears throat> and a uh, bing cherry. So what's what's kind of cool about this is to observe these trees, you'll notice that the bing side, the bing arm is actually the healthiest arm. It is the biggest one and that thing is just kicking butt through the summer. So it's September 1st, we're starting to cool down a little bit, which of course is making them a little bit happy <clears throat> and making me happy too. <laughs> and so I thought I'd show you guys the progress on these because I didn't know if they were going to burn up over the summer or what was going to go on with these cherry trees. So yeah, these are the multi-graft cherry trees. Got these from, from Charlie over there at Lowe's. And they've done quite well through the summer. Now will they fruit? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't know because they haven't really gotten to that phase yet. So this first year, even if they had a fruited, well, I would have taken the fruit off anyway, but they're probably not going to because they need to get their roots established. So the trees know where to put their energy <clears throat> and they know once they've been transplanted from a pot into a ground, into the ground. So they know that they need to get start to get their roots in the ground now. So that's what they're gonna focus on. And that's actually what you want them to focus on because that's how I get these things so big and so crazy. So lots and lots of water. Now these guys are planted these guys are planted really deep. So if I go down below grade here, here's grade and you can just barely see the top of that tag. So if we drop in the well, <clears throat> we can see that that's really, really deep. That's probably, I don't know, at least a foot deep, maybe 15 inches deep. And I've got it mulched in here. I've got my nice compost, I've got some nice decorative rocks on this one. And then I've got it in the water well, which now this is a huge water well. So when I go to water these cherry trees, which I do every day because I want to get these guys established, well, then they've got a huge water well to absorb the water. So these water wells, they probably hold, I don't know, maybe around 10 gallons each. So I just water them real quick, water one of them, water the next one, and then on to the next plant. So I just wanted to show you guys how healthy these guys look and the vigor on these sweet cherry trees, which of course, Everybody will tell you they don't they don't work here just like any just like everything else But I guess if I had to listen to that. Well, I wouldn't have any trees um, Well, I might have like maybe a mesquite tree <laughs> So yeah, I'm I'm all for the challenge. So these guys made it through the summer. No problem at all whatsoever So I see them. Well, of course, they're gonna go through the winter with ease because they're gonna go dormant They're gonna lose all their leaves and they need to, need to get a couple good chill hours, but having these right next to each other, so it's basically, I mean, how many varieties did I name there? Five, five different varieties in this one little section right here. So if they do happen to fruit, well, hopefully I'll get that good cross-pollinization between the, between the trees. So yeah, so will, will it grow here? I mean, absolutely. So you see the proof right in front of you. These are cherry trees wonderful new growth on them but like i said will they fruit that's that's to be to be seen to be determined couldn't really tell you guys yet but i wanted to kind of show you some of the leaves on on this back one so this is the bing so i know they don't look very big in scale so i got my tape measure out here so this is a cherry leaf and that thing is almost eight inches eight inches long and four inches wide. I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculous. Look at it compared to my hand here. It takes up my entire hand. And no burning, I mean, look at this. You would think that these things would be fried from the summer, especially having these big leaves, or at least curled, um, or at least some, I don't know, some salt burn. 
or some chlorosis or something, but they look pretty, pretty darn good, especially to have made it through that heat. So sweet cherries, the analysis is yes, they will definitely work here. And so if you guys are interested in trying them, I would get a little larger uh, caliper tree though, you guys. So I have tried cherries over and over and over and over and they usually burn up in the summer and it's usually because they don't have a very big trunk. And this one has just a nice, nice beefy trunk, has really nice grafts under this tree. Same on this one over here. So you can kind of see the mass here, right? So mass and trunk size, that's what saves the tree. This is what keeps this thing alive in the summer and winter is getting some size on these trees. Now I don't necessarily mean buying a bigger size. I mean, get them that size in your yard because that means the roots have penetrated the soil well, starting to uptake nutrients, starting to fatten up that trunk. And then once you, once you do that, they'll just cruise cruise through the summers and winters. So that's how you get these guys through the hot summer. And you do the same thing on like a mango to get it through the winter. So you want that nice, big, beefy trunk on these guys. That's where they store all their energy. And these really worked out well. So just wanted to give you guys a quick little video on the, on the cherry trees and show you that they're doing pretty well. I mean, they've grown quite a bit. There's the top of the house there. And they've almost reached the top, both of them. So, all right guys, go ahead and post any, any questions below. I don't know how well I'll be able to answer them because like I said, I don't have a whole lot of experience actually getting these guys through the summer. This is my first set that I got through the summer. And like I said, I attribute it to having these larger, larger trunks when you purchase the tree. So, all right guys, thank you for watching. I know it was a little bit of a long one, but I know some of you guys are probably interested or maybe want to do sweet cherries and not just the tart cherries or the tropical cherries and that you, go, you actually want a true cherry. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> all right guys, have a good one.